Hello everybody, Buddy Web Midland, Texas. This week was a pretty big week. We did that video, it got released here, Desert Secrets, Underground Tunnels, People in the Attic, Buddy Web Story. And there's quite a few views been on it, uh, getting around a thousand on YouTube for on Nino's channel. Uh, there, there was a lot of comments, I'm going to show you some of them comments here in a minute. They're on there, and that's what gave me this idea right here. Uh, because somebody had wrote in there says uh, you ought to do a, a go live and then we can ask buddy questions you know and you know and I wrote and I said I'm happy to answer any question I'd do it right here I can do it on a go live I've been answering questions for 10 years you know but anyway I wrote this up I said uh, answering questions if anybody has a question then I'll be glad to try to answer it as well as direct you to where the evidence is found but please no name calling or being rude. And keep in mind that I don't claim to know everything, but I know a lot more than I did when somebody under my home cut my phone lines and shot me in 2012. As stated in this video, I have multiple proofs showing that I wasn't shot with my gun, which makes me the crippled victim of a home invasion and capital murder attempt. That's the facts. That's all there is to it. Irrefutable evidence. I have over 50 other homeowners documented reporting people in the attic since I was shot while claiming burglar arms going off my attic. That makes a huge statement. And I've documented multiple people saying that tunnels and underground homes are here with many details. And this includes a guy that was running for Midland Sheriff when I secretly recorded him. Supporting evidence was found for these underground homes on Google Maps. And it showed that one of the four three-bedroom million dollar underground safe houses that were put in for the bushes back in 1987 with a budget on permit for $7.35 million is located in my backyard. Okay. That's a lot of evidence, a lot of people there. You can be sure they're here. There, there are some topics that were not talked about in depth in this video, such as the home invasion two weeks before the murder, Tim, when it's believed a guy was electrocuted coming home. The medical crimes were doctors faked x-rays and crippled me for life on purpose after I survived the murder, Tim. The many people documented saying that Haley Dunn was killed in Odessa. The secret police who were caught playing the evidence and staging the crime scene after the murder, Tim, which took six years, a $2,000 reward to get identified. And Aaron Packer, who told me that four people had been murdered, died at my home, the unsolved murder of Cody Mercer, the suspected murder of Mike Lawn, still missing man Rini Escobar Sanchez, the young girl uh, Angie McGee Hurley told me that was murdered at the 2010 old show party, the belief that Mahomes and Hobbs was, many the, was, my, was one of the many rig homes with people in the attic, and then another one I just thought about was the Homeland Security pouring concrete after I showed them where a human trafficking murder tunnel is in 2019, and we can, if you want, we can talk about, you know, my suspicion that Vice President Mike Pence was offered a, uh, a donation or a bribe to help cover up these crimes and murders by, by old company leaders here in Midland. And there's a lot of a lot of possible questions here, but you're free to ask them, and I'll do my best to answer them and direct you to that, you know, the evidence I have. Like I said, I don't know anything. Please don't be rude and no name calling because, you know, it's kind of absurd when I'm the crippled victim of a murder attempt. But anyway, Midland, Texas.